And next, despite the raft of MS-13 crimes in the state, Virginia's Democrat governor goes soft on sanctuary cities. What's going on with that? A debate next. Virginia's Democrat governor, Ralph Northam, campaigned as a moderate, but he moved far to the left yesterday after he vetoed a bill that would have banned sanctuary cities in the state. That's quite a bold move for a state that's no stranger to violence from the notorious MS-13 gang. Joining us now for reaction and debate, Corey Stewart. He's a Republican running for Senate in Virginia. And Mark H. Levine, who's a Democratic delegate to the Virginia House of Delegates. Gentlemen, it's great to have you both on. All right. Let's start with uh, the state re state delegate here. Now, I, I'm, I live in Virginia, love Virginia, went to school at the University of Virginia. But I am appalled by this decision by the governor. I remember back, I think it was Valentine's Day of last year, and that recorded confession of an MS-13 gang member and what she did in this murder. Let's watch it. You need to tell me what you did to her. I killed her. How did you kill her? Bueno, no, te vas a recordar de mí hasta el día que, hasta el día que los vayamos a ver al puto infierno. And you're going to remember me until the day we see each other in hell. <clears throat> Don't forget my name. Uh, a vicious, brutal murder. Um, this isn't the first time this happened in Virginia. Why would Virginia want to welcome illegal immigrants to live in the state when you do not know what their desires are, what their aims are, what their goals are, or whether or not they are criminals beyond just entering the country illegally. So I'm really glad that Governor Northam vetoed this bill. If this bill became law, no one would celebrate more than the MS-13, because the bill doesn't actually do anything. Uh, it's already preempted by the Constitution. The federal law already preempts state law. But what the bill would do is would encourage victims not to talk to the police. It would make law enforcement really hard, because someone who's beaten up or tortured or, or by the MS-13, they wouldn't go to the police. They'd be afraid that they might be deported. So if you want to stop crime, let the local authorities stop crime by letting witnesses speak out. So if you want out. to start, stop crime, allow more people into your state that are illegal border crosses who've already committed an offense and oftentimes commit more offenses through document fraud, taking government services, et cetera. How is that making the, the state safer, the Commonwealth safer for the average person? We've got to get Corey in on this. We'll get back to you. That is the argument, and it's made by the Hispanic community. Others who are in the state, uh, Commonwealth illegally, say, "Look, we want to. We're here. We're already here. We're working. Uh, let us stay. Don't don't inflict this on us. We will actually report crime." That's what the left always does. They just pull this out of the air. It, there's no basis in truth. We've been doing this in Prince William County. I led the crack, the toughest crackdown in the on the con in the country on illegal immigration in Prince William County, right next to Fairfax. Uh, so far, ten years later. We've apprehended uh, 8,121 illegal aliens, had them over to the ICE. Uh, the crime rate dropped in half, and not a single case of racial profiling. What the delegate here has said that would, would happen in Prince William County, they said that 10 years ago, hasn't happened. Let law enforcement do its job apprehending criminals, whether I they're illegal or not. But if they're here illegally, we have an extra weapon that we can use to remove them from our community so they can't commit brutal rapes and murders like that one. So studies consistently show that native-born American citizens commit crime at a far greater rate than undocumented immigrants. So let's support them and so keep the illegal. Let's I mean, what is put, that argument? Let's put all, <laughs> I don't understand yeah. that argument. Well, let's put all say. criminals in jail. And let's not have crimes but reported less. Okay. You know, if, if fewer crimes are reported in Prince William County because victims are afraid and they take the domestic violence, okay. they take the rape, they think right. and they don't report it. I, I know a lot of a I know a lot of, of my fellow Virginians who are afraid. They're living The in law places, does nothing. You understand? They're, they're, li they're living in places like Sterling, uh, which used to be a kind of a rural community. They're living out in Manassas, they're living in Alexandria, where you represent. And they don't even recognize the communities in which they live because there's more criminality. There, uh, there is, uh, there's less of a feeling of cohesiveness in Not the community. True uh, Look, I disagree. Long, I, mean, I, I probably lived, I probably lived here just as long as you, if not longer. And I find the attitude that, well, they don't commit as much crime. First of all, I don't care if one American dies in Virginia. 
by a, by the hands of an illegal immigrant who shouldn't be here. What, are we are we going to say, oh, but all the other people are good? Why did, one person's dead. Why do you consider one murder worse than another? If someone's murdered, by I a don't because we don't need any more no, murders. The answer That's is why. we should let law enforcement be unhampered and enforce the law and go after everybody, whether they be citizens or undocumented. Why do you have more problems in yeah. your community? Because right. undocumented immigrants bring fewer problems. So here's the problem with the left. They're, they're, oh Laura, my God! If you, think about I, this, what, if you want to stop the MS-13, then you, bring in more illegal then immigrants. You allow to people to on. talk to the police. What? Yeah. And you don't say, hey, if you report, if you talk to the police, we're going to deport you. No, no, we're that gonna causes say, more crime. No, we're going to say, okay, go ahead, sorry, Corey, I'm Well, what the argument. sanctuary cities are trying to do, what, what these left wingers are doing in Richmond and in Charlottesville and now in Fairfax County, the largest, no ju sanctuary city. largest Virginia, jurisdiction. You know that, that's not true. It, they can't. Fairfax County, out. He's not, saying to back out. They're yeah. not going to be to uh, allow ICE to do pick up these dangerous criminal illegal aliens. And here, let me tell you something. Has you're, you're, they can what you're talking up. about is letting law enforcement do their job. Right. The problem yeah. with you liberals is you're telling them not to do their job. No, right, guys, that's the their problem. job is not immigration enforcement. It's uh, enforcing local. All right. Um, we are out of time, but I could do an hour with you guys. Let's come back. <laughs> oh, please do. And we're